Hamlet, Act 3, Scene 1. To be or not to be? To be or not to be? That is the question. Would a tis nobler in the mind to suffer? The slings and arrows of a traitorous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by posing and them to die, to sleep, no more, and by sleep to say we end. A heartache and a thousand natural shocks, that of which is here to, tis a consummation, devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Ay, there's a rub, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come, when you have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us a pause. There is your respect. That makes calamity a so long life. Who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong and the proud man's contumely. And the proud man's contumely. The pangs of the spies love, the laws delay, the insolence of office and spurns. That patient merit of the unworthy takes when he, Himself might as quite as make of a bare bucking. Who would fardels beer to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that the dread after something death. The undiscovered country is from who is born. No traveler returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather beer with those ills we have than to fly to others we know not of. Thus, conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue and resolution. A sickled orb of a pale cast of thought, an enterprise of a great pit and moment. With this regard, their currents turn hourly, and lose the name of action. Stop you now! The fair Amphelia, nymph and fire risings, me all my sins remember. Don't forget to, to like and subscribe. Bye!